So I'm going to start from top to bottom. And if you wanted to, you could make a box of any size um, just to have some parameters to follow. But again, you definitely don't need to. So I'm going to go straight across with each of these colors. I always like to start on the bottom with a new color and overlap. See that beautiful gradient? Now, if that gradient doesn't quite look right to you, um, that's okay too because we're going to add water to it and we're going to spread it. We're going to make it look really nice ourselves with a brush. And just so you know, I'm going to be using um, two types of brushes for this. It's going to be a big brush and a little brush. Flat one and round one. That's what I meant to say. Flat one and round one. There we go. Now, got my flat brush. It doesn't really need to be angled like this. I just grabbed it just because it was the nearest thing to where I was. Shading back and forth. Look at that. I can spread this color. It retains some of those um, brush marks. but for the most part, you can see it spreading so nicely. I think that's that. I'm going to fix that line right there. Beautiful. And now we wait for it to dry. Okay, I am back now. It's been drying for about 10 minutes now, and it looks to be all good to me. I'm going to switch brushes now to this one. Well, let me get a small one. Take that back. Shorter handle, more comfortable, but still a pointy brush here. So I have very fall-like colors, and I also have a napkin on the side, too. I forgot to mention that. We're going to need a napkin. I think that since this reminds me of fall, I think I'm going to make a bunch of fall leaves. I'm going to do that by swiping clean water all across here. These are going to be falling leaves. They can go in a shape. I can take my napkin. Do you see what it's doing to the paper? very carefully lifting the water away from my picture. Do you guys see that? And it becomes kind of a fall leaf pattern. You can continue and just make a bunch of leaves. Or you can start to make maybe some shapes or some motion in here. These are leaves in my head. They're just kind of, I don't know, going with the wind. I'm kind of envisioning a pattern where the wind is lifting them up. I made a bunch of them. I can go in here and very carefully try and lift that water away from the paper. It makes it more visible. Just like that. For some colors, it might work better than others. I think I can see here that the purple and the pink are giving me just a little bit of trouble with the lifting, but that's okay. I went over some of these, these little leaves, and it seems to help if you go over it again. Do a little bit more. I'm going to start to overlap just a little bit. I'm 
just so that we have lots of leaves. I'm gonna find, I gotta keep finding dry spots on my napkin. If you're at home, I recommend maybe getting a bigger piece of paper than I have, than what I have. There we go. Another idea would be to make flowers. Put a bunch of flowers in here. And just keep going back and forth with my water. It's all I'm using. Overlapping some of these purple spots. There you go. Just a cool little trick that you can do at home. And I use Crayola markers. I don't really know about uh, other markers and whether or not they work, but Crayola works amazing with this technique. So I was going to end the video right there just with the, the, the color and the marks in the background, but then I thought I could take this a little bit further. So I did, and I decided to come back and show you. Um, I really wanted a border around it, so I just found a Sharpie marker, um, one of the thin ones, of course, and I started to just make these very loose lines around it. One end to the next. Slightly bending it a little bit to make it a little bit nicer. And then I just started to make some leaves that kind of complement the shape that I, that, I, that I did in here. The shape of my brush strokes. Now as you can see, I kind of messed up a little bit with this, with this part, but that's okay because I feel like these sides make up for it. And then I figured, since these are just leaves that are flowing in the wind, maybe I'll draw some pumpkins. And I know that it's purple down here, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to pretend that it's like nighttime or something. I tend to, to do this with my pumpkins all the time. I tend to make them kind of pointy, and I don't really know why I do that. I always like to start on the sides. Maybe if I do this first, that's much better. Make the sides first. Have them come down. I don't really like to close the ends just yet until I've gotten to the middle. No pumpkin is the same, and they always kind of come out from the center here. Maybe I'll do one more. Maybe one of those elongated ones. I forget what they're called. There we go. Make a little top there. Let's give it a ground to stand on. Squiggles from it for underneath. Let's see, I feel like maybe they need some vines. There we go. And voila, we have our lovely little fall scenery. I hope you enjoy it. Please send me pictures if you happen to make it. We would absolutely love to see it. So please enjoy the rest of your day and your week. I will see you next week.